In my in, in relation to one of your recent posts dedicated to your parents, I love that post. You mentioned something along the lines of treating your parents with ihsan as the bare minimum. What do we do if caring for a palliative, um, palliative parent feels like it's never good enough, despite the reality we'll never be able to repay them? Yeah, that's a really... Th uh, thank you for your question, Tyra Azim. Um, really, really important question. Even if I don't get to answer any other question, I think this is this is valuable enough to kind of dig into. A lot of people come up to me with questions about their parents. And I, I didn't put this in my post. I put it, I put in my post what I appreciate about my parents, what I love about them, and how blessed I am to have them. But there are lots of people, guys, that come up to me and uh, they tell me about terrible experiences with their parents. I mean, I have, I have been witness to parents that have been, at minimum, psychologically abusive, verbally abusive, I've heard about parents that are physically abusive, sexually abusive. I've, I've seen all kinds of things, and it's hard to even hear sometimes that parents can do that. And first, you know, if I was to, I mean, I'm afraid to write something like that that would put a sour taste in everybody's mouth as, I, as they read it. But I do want to say for parents like that, that are abusive, you know, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Allah gave you an honor greater than so many other creations on this earth. And He only gave you that honor because you take care of your children. You raise them. Quran says, Kama rabbayani sagheera, They ensured my growth. So your part was, as a parent, you ensured that they grow well, that they're taken care of, that their needs are provided for, that they're protective, that they're safe. When you took that safety away from them, when you took their dignity away from them, when you humiliated them, when you abused them, when you hit them, when you, when you did these things to them that put them down, that made them feel, made them feel worthless, then you have taken this huge honor that Allah gave you and you have abused it and you've mutilated it. That's a crime. That's a grand, grand crime. I'm not even talking to the kids. I'm talking to those parents. That that's, a, that's something you... I don't know how you'll answer Allah. And then on top of doing all of those crimes, you have the audacity to turn to those kids that you've abused and then say, you better be good to me because Allah says, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا That is not how that works. That is not how that works.